All right, hello again, uh, peace of Christ to all of you. Before we start actually with the new topic, I forgot to mention that the coward, the liar, the fraud, Sabil Ahmad, he said that in the Quran it says that Allah, he said in chapter 9 verse 28, that if you kill one innocent person as if he killed all mankind. This is the phrase or a verse always the Muslims, they quote for you. But they will not tell you that the Quran there was speaking about Musa's and that was about the believers, not about really even Muslims. However, how the Muslims understand this verse? Not condemn it. I just wonder why you won't condemn it when your own leader, Omar Bakri, said quite simply, I condemn the killing of innocent people on the 20th of July. Why yeah, won't you people. say what he said? No, at the, at the end of the day, innocent people, when we say innocent people, we mean Muslims. As far as uh, non-Muslims are concerned, they have, uh, they have not accepted Islam. As far as we are concerned, that is a crime against God. I want but, to be clear about uh, what you're saying. As, this as is very important. People, you're no, saying that just, only Muslims can it, count as count. innocent people. As far as Muslims are concerned, you're innocent if you, if you are a Muslim, then you're innocent in the eyes of God. If you are non-Muslim, then you're guilty of not believing in God. Yes? See? See the liars, what they say to you, they quote for you that verse to mislead you, to fool you. Says It says here, if you killed one innocent person, but they will not tell you that in Islam only Muslims are innocent. This is the religion of the devil. So this Sabil Ahmad going around, he keep quoting the verse. In his Quran it says, if you kill one innocent person, as if it will, isn't it your prophet, he says, kill in the same, in the same chapter, the same even the verse after, it says, go and kill the Christians. Sorry, verse number 32, yeah. The same chapter you will see in verse number 29, it says, go and kill the Christians. Coward liars. Now we go to different topic. <clears throat> Just because you guys requested. Many of you want to talk about uh, Harun, our sister Harun. She been hit by a Muslim in the park. I saw the video. You know, for me, I don't support any Christian women to go to those places. Maybe because I'm Middle Eastern, I don't know. Maybe because I believe as a Middle Eastern, this is not right for her, not, not the, the good place for her. I don't know. But for me, I believe that she should not be there. Maybe you agree, maybe you don't agree. This is your business. Those are faithy cowards. They took advantage of her. She is a woman. She is a small. I mean, this woman, if you, you know, push her with your finger, will fall down. She have nobody to protect her. And because they are cowards, they took advantage of that women. And when you say you are in a speaker corner and the police came, the police in England, they are not police. You know, police in England is like cartoon. Cartoon is more useful than the police. They don't even have guns. They will not even arrest him. In England, even if you have a fake passport, they will not arrest you. <laughs> There's no police in England. Don't waste your time. All right. <clears throat> Somebody saying Anjam Shawadri is not a Muslim. Well, is, is, is Muhammad is a Muslim or not? Muhammad says, go and kill all the Christians. <laughs> Obviously, Muhammad is not a Muslim too. Anyway, so I am against any lady to go to those places. She can go and teach about Islam. Go to churches. Speak to women. Teach. Do you, you, know, you like to go out? No problem. But not that place filled of those, you know, savage people. And you have no protection whatsoever. Even if the police is there, will do nothing. I mean, I'm telling you, this is England, not like in USA. In USA, if this guy, he did what he did, the police will beat the hell of him right away in the spot. So they are taking advantage of the system there that this is a very tolerant society and even if you hit somebody nothing they will take a they will give him a ticket and they will say to him come back to the station and because the muslim they knew that there's no police in the police they do that there's no police in the police i'm telling you this is england my friend don't waste your time don't waste your time <clears throat> So I encourage her to go and teach about Islam, but go to churches, go speak to ladies, you know, do what is what is fit. 
even if you want to speak about Islam, go to the front. Don't speak with speaker corner. Go to the front place. This place is infected. And you are outnumbered. Uh, and actually, me, myself, I will not go there. Because what if this guy, he came to hit me, what I would do next? You know, I don't know what I would do next. I'm very, you know... <laughs> <laughs> anyway cowards and actually this is what they did uh, uh, to the, the teacher in France the teacher in France he was walking and he came from his back you see that coward he don't even go from his front say let us fight cowards he came from his back and he put his knife in his neck cowards they will not come. We, we showed you the other video of Sabil, Sabil Ali. In the front of the Christian there, he's like a chicken. Depend who you are. This is how they are. <clears throat> Always they are brave when they are many and you are a few. When they are ganging and you have nobody. You are a woman or you have no protection and they are too many. If the opposite, they are, they are peaceful. Takiya, you know. This is how they are. So you need to learn. Now we go to the second topic. <clears throat> uh, somebody saying odd man, he's saying coward doesn't show face. My friend Allah doesn't show his face, so he must be coward. And why you want to see my face? I'm not good looking. If I show my face, nobody will show up. You want to see my face? Come to me. I thought Muslim they knew who I am from long time ago. Aren't you Muslim posting pictures there saying this is me, you coward? So who is that guy you are posting his picture? Is that me or somebody else? So you are lying to people now? Okay, as usual. <clears throat> uh, anyway. So here we have a video of... There's two videos. Let us go to, for, to this one first. The FBI just warned me. <clears throat> this is made by David Wood. And actually, I don't agree with David Wood in many uh, in making this video, and I will tell you why. <clears throat> bell rang this morning. My wife answered the door, then she yelled, David, the FBI wants to talk to you. Went to the door. There were two agents. One of them said, it's come to our attention that after you posted a video of yourself eating pages of a certain book, there were some calls for violence against you, and some of those calls for violence made it to some very bad people. I said, well, my video was a response to some bad people. He said, we're not here to criticize the contents of your video. We're here to inform you that there are some bad people who want to do some bad things. He asked if I had any questions. He gave me his phone number and his card. His office is at the local police department. That's interesting. I know some of you are law enforcement. Do police and the FBI work in the same building like that? Yeah, first, obviously, uh, David, he didn't know much about uh, those uh, Homeland Security. Those cards, they are not even real. You know, I mean, they give a card with a name, but mostly the one who come to him is one from the FBI and one from the CIA because most of those who they are involved uh, <clears throat> homeland security threat they are coming from overseas FBI is for the federal for the in, inside the state and the CIA is for abroad but when they give their uh, you know uh, they give a card they will give you a card which does not really mean anything I mean, you know it's a useless card but it have a number you can call the number so uh, If I am him, I will never make this video. I mean, if those guys want to come, they will not come now. Don't you want to get them? You just warn them that they are watching you. So you lost opportunity. So now what? You know, they, they will wait until you, nobody is watching, so things will cool down. You should not make a video like this. You know what I mean? Never make a video like this. Never tell you who, who met you, what they said to you. Uh, they warn you. Never. Let them come. I mean, you just told the rat, we are waiting for you. 
<coughs> you know and you know the second you say uh, Islamic terrorism all agencies will be involved you know like now if I call and I say somebody he's, he threatened me and he is from ISIS right away all they will take it seriously it's not like a police report like you know somebody he said they want to kill you no 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 this will be a new level this is not a joke they will not waste their time right away they will come to you so this is America my friend this is number one number two there's no joke in here so if somebody make a threat for you and you are a person especially like uh, people who they are fighting Islam it, it's for real then so the agencies they start from inside the military agencies the intelligent uh, CIA the FBI all will be involved and they are actually sharing one system so never tell them never tell them what what why you want to tell them they came to my door so I don't agree with David in making this video. Let them come, my friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let them come. Move a place to place. No, don't ever do that. What you keep? Uh, no, 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 no. You see, you guys are really scared from nothing. Those are cowards. They will come to you if you are a, if you are scared. If you are ready for them, they will never come. They will come after a, a woman, after a teacher. You know, for me, I, you know, like I don't, you know, I have always, uh, uh, since when I was a kid, my hobby is having guns. It's my hobby. I have nothing to do with Islam. Since I was a kid. So if somebody want to come to me, he will have fun. You know, I'm like, okay, they let him come. Regardless of the CIA and the FBI and who is watching and who is, because at the end of the day, you are the first one who to protect himself. You know, because they will try to take you into surprise. Never run away from them and never you know be afraid of anyone you will live one you will die one die as a christian with honor not like a puppy so first we will never change and we will not stop showing cartoon of your prophet here we go let me put some cartoons of your prophet no, just yeah. okay what is next we will kill you okay kill us ah, we will make my cartoon and actually then all people in the world they will watch my videos I have tens of thousands of them and I have books now which are translated to almost all languages in the world soon we will have my books is even in Chinese Korean I mean what is next so even if I die that will help my mission and we will die anyway I mean, it was so why, why people are so much attached to this life I mean what do you have in this life what do you do? I mean, why, why, why are you so crazy about life? Live as a man or don't live. Freedom, my friend. When somebody take your freedom from you, you are not alive. You are just a number. Hatoon <clears throat> uh, and Jamshawadri and David Wood are paid are paid by the same people. Ah, oh, they are paid by the same. Well, okay. <laughs> My friend, we are paid. We are not paid. It doesn't matter. Your profit is a fraud. What do you say? So what? Say whatever you want. You are a fraud. right same like your prophet anyone who says actually it is your prophet who is you know who who's in the Quran says that your prophet he paid people to convert to Islam <clears throat> I want I want to remind you if we lose connection uh, don't leave because it come back you know sometime it goes like now it's, it's doing good so in case we lose connection you will see those circles start coming all right don't don't leave we'll come back <clears throat> all right so anyway let us see the video of uh, David let us continue and again I don't agree with making such a video I mean let them come so they can get them anyway that was cool after the show, the guy who was answering the calls 
said that when he hung up on the jihadi, Homeland Security called and said, give us the callback number. So Homeland Security was watching our show, apparently waiting for some jihadis to call in. Pretty cool. Then a few years ago in the Bronx, police showed up at our apartment. My wife answered the door. They said, we need to see David Wood to make sure he's okay. Didn't explain why they needed to see me. Didn't explain why they needed to make sure I was okay. After that, we would occasionally see a police car right outside our apartment parked there for hours. No reason ever given. Guys, is the sound coming in the picture? Because I saw like the circle start. Is it coming now? Give me one if it's working. <clears throat> Some of you have seen one of the videos where I would tell a jihadi where to meet me, then I would go there. That happened several times. One time, I told a jihadi where to meet me. I didn't have anyone else to film, so Marie came along. I told her to stay far away from me, but to record me the entire time, so that if I was brutally murdered, she would have some awesome footage. But when I got to the designated place at the designated time, there were four soldiers standing there with machine guns. The point here is that lots of times the government seems completely incompetent. But when it comes to these jihadis, there are police officers and federal agents who are on the ball, working behind the scenes to keep us from getting brutally murdered. So. No more talk about defunding the police. Now, as for you jihadis who are watching, you wasted five minutes of my time today. Totally unacceptable. And you clearly wasted quite a bit of the federal government's time. I want you to think about what you've done as I get my chew on. All right. <laughs> I, I, I like David Wood. <laughs> so, you know, okay, you, you threat him, you want to kill him, and now he's scared. And now he's eating more crow. I mean, I, David Wood, if you keep eating crow, eat the crow, we will kill you. So now we eat, because now he's terrified, he's eating more crow. Like, I'm so angry. Like, I cannot do what he's doing. I mean, this is filthy book. I would never do that. <laughs> I mean, do you see how scared he is? But then he ate the Quran. You Muslims, you ate the Quran. You, you, Uthman, he burned the Quran. Brother, they are insulting the, they are burning the Quran. The first one who burned the Quran was Muslims. Ever. I will never burn my Quran. I will laugh about, about what? All right? <clears throat> and now, like, I don't know if, if David, he was able to go to the bathroom after that or not. I mean, think about it for a second. I mean, this is not healthy. I, I hope he will not used to it. Like every day, he wake up in the morning, he asks his wife, do you have anything for food? She say, no. What do you do? Like, what? Hey, David, what do we have for lunch? What? What this guy is doing? He's eating the Quran. Hold on. I don't know why the size of the video changed. Hold on. <clears throat> now what? Like, you know, uh, did you brush your teeth after that? What happened? You know, shouldn't we give us more information about what is next? How it feel? How it taste? You know, like, what? And why you don't invite some, uh, you know, like this alone? Reading the whole book alone? Yeah, that's that's very selfish. Look how he is like this guy is hungry. He did not eat for like a month. I mean, look what he is doing. I mean, if you are in the desert and you did not eat for a month or two, you will not do that. But how long he did not? I mean, I think his wife she's not cooking. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm so upset for him now. Wife, our sister, wife of David, you know, she, come on. 
make some salad, make the this guy is going to be a paper di in the paper diet for the rest of his life. I mean, is that is that a, do you think it is a halal or? <laughs> So stop threatening people because that will not work, my friend. And you will make more people doing this, actually. But I mean, me, I will never eat the Quran. I mean, this is, ah, man. Oh, boy. <sighs> mm. Anyway. Uh, always when they try to do something, it works in the opposite way. The most time they were, you know, uh, like attacking the, the the French government for exposing Islam or speaking against Islam. And what happened? Now every single European is disgusted, and the French are really, really, really upset and angry from Islam. It's working the opposite direction. It doesn't help you. Uh, we are against hate. That's what the Muslim they say. But isn't it the Quran? says I will spread hatred and enmity isn't it the Quran says that you cannot even take your family as a friends you cannot even love them you will not find one single Muslim he love those who they are not Muslim even if they are families because they oppose Allah <clears throat> what do you think I'm not going to get the Quran. Don't even ask for it. Don't even try, man. You see, I have not eaten since yesterday, but I will never eat. It doesn't matter. Don't even push. No. Do you remember the story of the goat who ate the Quran? Do you know what happened to that goat? Do you know that Allah, he punished that goat? Let me, let me show you. <clears throat> uh, is, is, the, is, is it still the, uh, the screen coming? Because I see that my, my internet coming down. Is it coming or is it's bad? Give me one is if it's good. Okay. Many of you know the story of the goat who ate the Quran, but you do not know that after that this goat she was not able to go to the bathroom, period. Allah blocked her. She go like, uh, uh, you know, she didn't, nothing come. Uh, nothing come. It's not easy, my friend. You will be punished. So I challenged David Wood to make a video in the bathroom and show us what happened after he ate the Quran. Did it go? I'm sure it did not. For well, Allah is going to, you know, black block it. Do you remember the Sheikh who was saying, uh, like, you know, a genie, he blocked your bum? This is a true story, by the way. I mean, there's uh, tons of uh, proof of uh, this story. You know, if you go in the Middle East, you will see uh, a true believer. He go in the bathroom because he forgot to say a certain word, Allahumma zandibna saytana. So he, like he said, he said the prayer. Uh, he go to the bathroom and he did not enter with the left foot. He entered with the right foot. And then what happened next? Shaitan, he play with his bum and he go inside and he block it. And then the guy, he's sit in the bathroom, you know, like trying, uh, uh, and nothing coming. You remember the video, right? Hmm. We are going red. <clears throat> Let us hope we will not lose until we finish. Lose our connection. Uh, let us see. Uh, and by the way, those are all proven to be scientifically accurate. Just a, uh, two weeks ago or 10 days ago, uh, uh, NASA was able to land on a small uh, planet in the, in the space. Right? When Muslims until now they are studying Shaitan farting, you know, the, the science of their prophet. Which is absolutely true. I mean, you know. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Hadith of Timothy says, it says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs. But the hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is. <laughs> he runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes. Even Shaitan, he make fun of Islam. Unbelievable. Look at this guy. You say, Allahu Akbar, Shaitan fart. Shaitan fart, that's mean Allah as Akbar. Do you see the connection, brother? 
I mean, and they say, why you're insulting our religion? I mean, you're insulting your religion. You just made, you just told me that your prophet told you that there is a connection between the anus of shaitan and your God name. You say, Allahu Akbar, shaitan, he would do what? He, 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 he let it go. And what is the what is the proof of this story, brother? Prophet said, the Prophet said, Hadith Turmuzi said, brother, Hadith, the Prophet said. Tell me this, it says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is. I mean, this guy, he used hands, his hands always for this, uh, I mean, and this is a, there's a new I mean there is other use for hands in Islam to make a sound of farting okay uh oh maybe I lost my connection what happened he Did I lose my connection, guys? Is it lost? Okay. We have a Muslim here. He's saying, uh, Christian prince, uh, Christians are joke. He is playing with you all. He says God is coward because he does not show his face. He's an atheist. The, this is this is what happened when you are a Muslim after thinking look look this is what happened guys just to show you what happened when a Muslim he start thinking this is a Muslim he start thinking okay and he like he would squeeze it he squeezes the you know he squeeze it and now he come with the conclusion Christians are joke he's talking about me I think he is playing you all he says God is a coward cause he does not show his face he's an atheist. <laughs> you idiot, I was talking about your God. My God, he showed his face. He come to us as a man. Where is your God? Potato. Where is your God? All what Allah will show is his shin. I mean, even your God, he will strip, strip his God. And if we go right now in the videos in YouTube, you search for the shin of Allah or the leg of Allah or the foot of Allah. This is your God. You are saying to me, saw your face. Saw your face. All right, let's continue. He runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. I'm not making it the hadith. And listen. I'm not making it up. This is the hadith. Like, are you stupid or what? When I say hadith, that means Allah is talking. That because Muhammad is speak for Allah. Because people are laughing, right? Like, this is stupid, right? The Muslim, they are laughing. <laughs> and this guy get offended. He said, Don't this is the hadith says. The hadith says, What's wrong with you? So respect. What's wrong with us, Abdul? They are laughing at the hadith of the Prophet. The hadith says, the hadith says. Hadith, and listen to the hadith, like you first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you're going to the toilet, you know, bismillah. Somebody saying, stranger, he said, did you did you see the face of thy father? Yes, you coward. If you know the Bible, you will see. They asked Jesus, let us see the father. And that said, he said, I am with you all this time. And you do not know me. Who over saw me, he saw the father. Stranger. By the way, as long as your name is a stranger, your prophet said Islam start as a strange religion and will end and end as a strange religion, which means nobody will believe in it. Uh -huh. Abdul is sneaking around and saying like he's thinking, did the father saw his face? <laughs> Do you want me to show you the hadith as long as your name? Stranger? Okay. Let me show you the hadith. I like your name. Very nice. Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> 
Uh, let us see if we can find it in English. Your name is a stranger, right? Uh, your prophet, he prophesied about you. Are you going to, you Muslim, you say Islam will dominate the earth, Islam will take over the earth, Islam will, your prophet says no. Islam starts small and will end small. Do you feel like small now? Stranger? Be honest with me, do you feel small? How many Muslims they say to us, by the way, if you want to find what I'm uh, uh, showing you on the screen, just type the same words, like few of them. Uh, you know, and you will find it. So Islam start as a small, and brother will go back as a small. Mm -hmm. So Islam like a balloon, and the Christian prince is coming with a needle, or the cartoon maybe the needle needle. <laughs> so either Muslims are lying to us or lying to themselves because Muhammad. This is Muhammad saying Islam start and it's Sahih. Does it say Sahih? It says Sahih. I mean, this is horrible. Islam will go small. Will go small. I'm looking from here. Islam getting smaller and smaller, and a stranger now is so small. Are you excited? Stranger, pray, pray, pray for my internet so internet will go down because it's what's working. What do you think, idiot? <clears throat> so Islam is start as a small. Islam will end as a small Muhammad said so. Who said so? Prophet Muhammad, peace upon him. Al sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam means pray for, not to. <laughs> I will teach you Hebrew and teach you Arabic. <laughs> I know this is coming. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Anyway, we have 1,025 people. Where is number 26? What happened? He's looking for the small Islam now. I mean, guys, don't go look for it now. It's so small, you cannot find it. We are one point, you know, every day, every, every day you hear a new number. We are point, uh, point, uh, two billion Muslims. Like last week, you were 1.6, man. Two weeks before it, you were 1.4. I mean, what happened? How fast, brother, we are so, we grow so fast. And there is a reason for the growth of uh, our religion. Okay, can you give us number one reason? What is number one reason? Number one reason is uh, this. Here. Uh. <clears throat> number one reason. Hadith. And listen to the hadith like you first, you know what the deen is about. <clears throat> the deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you're going to the toilet. You know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabaith. That's it. This is Islam, brother. You, you need to know what the deen, the word deen means religion. So what is the religion? What is Islam? When you go to the toilet, you say these words. That is Islam, brother. We gave you the definition. I'm going now to tell you what Islam is about. When you go to the toilet, you say those words. That's it. Alhamdulillah. Okay. And, <laughs> and they get upset from me. I don't know why. To the toilet. You know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabaith. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're if, 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 even with the left foot, you get a reward, brother. In a second, brother. I see the circle is going. <laughs> okay. I hope we will get back. Is it working now? Because I saw it uh, the circle of... Uh... So brother, the left foot, brother. You enter with the left foot, you get reward right away. That's it, brother. I mean, all your problems are solved. You go to the bathroom, you want to get reward? Go to the bathroom right now and enter with the left foot. You want to get more reward after you enter, come back and enter again with the left foot. Actually, you can spend the whole day doing this because you will give reward, you get reward. Each time you enter with left foot, I will, I will spend the day just jumping inside the bathroom, getting out and in with the left foot. You know what? I will never use my right foot ever again. <laughs> Makes sense. That's Islam. This is Islam, my friend.
I mean, who can who can beat this? Islam is making fun of the Prophet. You cannot make fun of the Prophet. He is not a fool. He speak with he speak wisdom. This is wisdom and dumb together. I mean, it's a nice combination, by the way. Wisdom and dumb together. He's a wizard of being dummy. Again, if you lose connection, my internet, uh, just refresh your page. Usually, it come right away. If not, you know what we can do. Just use your, use your left foot. Go out of the chat and come back with the left foot, and it's going to work. <laughs> You're in the toilet. Shaitan can't see you anymore. It's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tirmidhi says he plays with your bow. Oh boy. Things is getting now, 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 now we are getting dirty. Oh boy. And look, this is my book there. I mean, you cannot find a video in the internet for anything without me. <laughs> so brother, you are in the bathroom now. If you don't say with in the, in the, the left foot and you don't say this prayer, Shaitan now is in. Are you ready, brother? Shaitan is your, in your <coughs> holy anus. Here we go, the circle again. <clears throat> Sir, sleep beside your gun? No, my friend, I don't sleep behind my gun. <laughs> I mean, next one, I have gun everywhere. <laughs> because, you know, I'm so lazy to carry it, so to be honest with you, so I have one in the car, one in the, you know, whatever, you know, there's one. It's, it's a hobby, what I can do. No, no, I'm not afraid of anyone. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. And actually, if something happened to me, that's for my benefit. Mean how many people read my books. Oh boy. Actually, my French translation for the book, The Secret of the Prophet Arab, you see my French is very good, right? I have a lot of increase of sales. This book, nobody knows about it. And suddenly now everybody's buying the book. So if you have a French people, go to Amazon, uh, Amazon France, uh, like Amazon.fr, and then you will find my book in a French language. And you will see, I mean, thanks to the cartoon, we are helping. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> is it the internet working still? That's a miracle. I don't know what's happening. Look like the left foot issue is working. He plays with the, your bowels. Oh boy. Shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tirmidhi says he plays with your bowels. Oh boy. Right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tirmidhi says he plays with your bowels. You know, I want to know how big this shaitan, man. I mean, this shaitan is so flexible. Now he's in your anus. I mean, the conspiracy theory against Islam starts from the anus. Look, your anus is under threat just because you are a Muslim. What do you want to do? Did you install a camera there? Brothers and sisters, if you like to install a camera to watch over your anus, Shaitan is there. He is going to target you just because you are a Muslim. And now you feel like a victim of sexual harassment. Your anus is violated. For what? Because you did not say the, the, the dua, which means the prayer, and you did not enter with the left foot. And now you have a problem. You lost your virginity. Obviously, something was there. His name is Shaitan. The whole Shaitan was there, not his finger. I mean, the guy, all of him is inside. Like, hey, Shaitan, can you come down? No. Come on, Shaitan. Come on. Come down. No. Shaitan. I mean, come on. No, no. Listen, Shaitan. We are losing our patient, okay? You have to come down immediately. No. Okay. I'm going to scare the hell of you. I'm going to play Quran for you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Don't do that. The guy, he just said, if you do that, the Quran will fart. So now you have Qatar is inside you, and his fault is coming from inside you. I mean, who can say Muhammad is not a prophet? I mean, that's obvious. I mean, this is alone. Is this, this is story alone? I don't know how many people converted to Islam after this. Muhammad says that. Muhammad says that. That is story. You're in the toilet. Shaitan can't see you anymore. <laughs> this is in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tirmidhi says. He guys, guys, look at this idiot. He said, a stranger. He said, you Arab Christians, you wanted to be Christian because you want to be white. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
what's he doing? I mean, that explains why you are a Muslim. You are a genius, man. You make fun of Arab, your people. It's clear. You become a Christian because you want to be white. <laughs> I did not lose my internet yet, no. Oh boy. Ah. Okay. Ah. Are you trying to kill me, man? Is that the new assassination plan? Stranger, are you sure you are not paid by... by, by uh... <laughs> so, brother and sisters, if you don't like your Qadar, you want to be white, just become a Christian, brother, according to Muslims. <laughs> by the way, isn't it your prophet and you Muslim, you say, the one who say the prophet is black, kill him? Isn't it you Muslim? You have books and you have series about how white the under arm of the Prophet, his legs, his shin, how white his mean so hot. Look who's talking. Isn't it your Prophet? He says that the black dog is a devil because he's racist. Isn't it your Prophet? He says Shaitan is black because he's racist. Isn't it your Prophet? He claimed that Ethiopian is the one who is a Shaitan is going to destroy the Kaaba and he's black. Because he's racist. So you feel the racist trying to make us racist. You are racist. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. I'm so glad we did not lose the internet. At least for imagination. I mean, you cannot. We, we have, you know, we have to be honest. We cannot beat the whiz and dumb of Islam. You cannot. Can you? The circle again? Hmm. Okay, well, we are trying to fix this internet thing. I hope maybe in a few days, you know, we made a big complaint to see what would happen. Uh, the service uh, guys would come and see what uh, what's happening here. I think that the genie is involved in this and he's blocking my modem or my internet. And, you know, because I entered the room without my left foot and I did not say the dua. So now the genie is in the anus of the modem. And now the modem is like, <clears throat> he's trying nothing like nothing going through you know so alhamdulillah mashallah we well, thank you very much for watching the video and i hope you did learn a lot from the wisdom of prophet muhammad who is amazingly the most wise and dumb in the same time in the world nobody can beat such a prophet listen carefully again he plays with your bowels he plays with the bowels so you're inside there you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes he's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there you know what? Because I'm going to go, ooh, ooh, la la. I think the Prophet, he was doing that to the Muslim to explain to them at that time too. Eh, eh, and he like, you know, shaitan, you know. He, this is just copying the Prophet. Nice teaching. Very, uh, very or, uh, organic and using a lot of imagination. So how, how shaitan what? What shaitan was doing, brother? Explain to us again. I mean, this is, this is the best way of education. Images, you know. Look at his face. Look at his lips, man. And look where he is looking. Supposedly he is looking now at your at your at your anus. Brother, that's so lovely. You know what? Because I'm gonna shake that ooh, ooh la la. See the hadith told you, the hadith says to us, he plays with your bowels. Yalla abu, yalla abu, he plays with the bowels. Oh hold on hold on no don't go don't go he's the, the video is short sorry guys how we can live without this wisdom now please don't go don't go don't go please don't go anyway i did not eat in, until now so i apologize it's time for us to go i'm so glad that the internet worked you know because i wasn't expecting it to work um i want to say thank you for being here May the Lord bless you all. And we are not making fun of Muslims. We are making fun of the cult of Islam. It's ugly, it's disgusting, it's stupid. And you have you have to be a person who lost his mind to believe in such a garbage. Garbage in, garbage out. If you believe in this, you need to check your brain. Something wrong, obviously. And please don't put cartoons of the Prophet because the Prophet, he is the biggest cartoon. Prove me wrong. May the Lord bless you all, and I will see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince, who was with you for a short time. 
short time for Christian Prince, me like an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, short video. <laughs> so he was with you for a short time, and I hope you did enjoy the short time with your brother, Christian Prince. Next time, we will be with you soon. God is willing for a short time again. Take care. Bye-bye.